From criminal bungling to a great scientific mystery, why did it take 300 years to give the giant tortoise a scientific name? A scientific name? Yeah, i.e. the Latin name. It turned out to be called Geo Colonia, you know. Is it because they just thought that was pretty good, giant tortoise? We'll leave it with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah? No, I was, I was, I was going to say something about which now it's unusable. I'm going to have to say it now. <laughs> Go on, I've no, thought. How did it matter? They thought. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. better be good. They thought it was a normal tortoise, but, it's, but closer, is what I was going to say. <laughs> But I, got, I, couldn't, I couldn't get that concept. It's like, would it be actually further away? And a normal one further away would be actually a minute one. Would they mistake uh, a quite far away normal one for a miniaturised one? That's a bit all you know, The thing that you're saying is that's the tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a bit further away. Yeah, I like it. Oh, go that way. So it was like a tortoise over there that was giant. Yeah. But I, some, for some reason, thought it was just there. Then, then I wouldn't think it was giant. I'd think it was just, oh, there's just one there. It was just a normal tortoise there, no, nothing about that. Oh, my God, it's over there and it's massive! <laughs> it would have to be on a huge beach with no other points of reference. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know. yeah. Are they, uh, That's not the reason. Are they, okay. <laughs> are they particularly litigious? Now, if you <laughs> give me a name, I'll sue you. No, he wasn't, that. It's a nice thought to get. No, they had another property which was most unfortunate for them to have. What the tortoises yeah, did. Yeah. They were edible. They were so edible. <laughs> anyone, so, I mean, anyone who what? saw one couldn't stop yes. to think of a name. <laughs> they just had to eat it well, straight away. Of, what is one of those? Yeah. I don't know yes. what they're called. <laughs> there's no, do you know? Yeah, just get one. They're really, very good. There's no, there's no, there's no Latin call them name dinner. for the pistachio nut. <laughs> <laughs> Same way. No one can be bothered. Just no shut Latin. up with your Latin. Eat them. They're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. No Latin name from all teasers. None of them made it. it. <laughs> it's kind of true. None of them made it to London. None of them made it to Europe. <laughs> This time, this time, <laughs> we're going to take it and we'll, and we'll take it under the stun here. Leave no. it. No. no. I have not taken it back. <laughs> People get up and ferry <laughs> coming into Dover. There's a bloke going... <laughs> <laughs> leaving the door with a tortoise is there. <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> even... All right, look. No, no, take nine, nine of them. <laughs> we'll eat eight. <laughs> yeah, nine. Yeah. And then everyone's oh, looking at it and going, yeah, come on. And then the seas become. <laughs> for days on end, the seas become as one tortoise left. Yeah. Can you come imagine? On, sir. Come on, we'll go back. Let's just go back and get some more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Imagine it. the moment after they've eaten that last oh. tortoise. They're sitting there thinking, oh. we are t <laughs> <laughs> Even on. I'm, I'm too full. <laughs> Even Darwin on Darwin's last <laughs> 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 Dozens. There were dozens. He collected of... every species in the world. Yeah. He ate that one. They had them all. <laughs> they did. Well, I mean, done it was... all those. Done all the butterflies. They... Done all the beetles. I'm eating the that. only, <laughs> the only descriptions of them are comparing them to chicken, beef, mutton, and butter, and saying they're how much better they are than all of those things. No one who'd ever eaten tortoise had ever eaten anything better. Why they are they said, not and the liver and the bone marrow, every part of it was. Unbelievably Where about delicious. Where are they from? Well, from the tropics, mostly. Are there flights over there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are giant. now protected. <laughs> All I 12 bet they're species. Not, they're that delicious, they can't be. Well, <laughs> they just say, yeah, we've protected them. They're all in there. No need to look. <laughs> yeah, we're all in there. Oops. Yeah, they're Absolutely. fine. <laughs> There's yeah. a border around them, like yeah. North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big pile of shells, like those piles <laughs> yeah. of tyres you see in a yeah. scrapyard. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, yeah. There were some that survived, however, and let me tell you about a very extraordinary that one. That bloke there, he's just befriending that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, come over here, my pretty. Yeah. I'm, trying to think, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a name for you. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> but they are amazing animals, apart from how delicious they are. Advaitya died in 2006, and he was Clive of India's pet. There he is. Oh, they're 200 years old or something. 255. He was born before Mozart, before the French Revolution, and his death was announced on CNN. I mean, that's a heck of a life, isn't it? And you it? can list his achievements on the back of a stamp. Well, <laughs> why, why, why would he need to Well, his principal achievement is it wasn't... He, he lived 255 yeah. years. 
people think probably the oldest living creature because they don't live so long out of captivity like most animals and he was you know well cared for but that is a pretty astonishing it lifespan. is quite so it lived 255 years and is massive i mean i've achieved 50 percent <laughs> of that <laughs> <laughs> that's so great there are 12 species of them, all of them endangered. Do well, they one... all taste nice? Well, I don't know, but it's very sad that they have so many were, were other species were, you know, basically wiped out just because they were so lovely. Not only that, they were also used as water stores. It sounds a weird thing, but they have a special kind of internal bladder that stores water so perfectly that it's drinkable. When you slit them open to cook them, you also get, you know, like a gallon of fresh water. Wow. So they would stack them up on boats, tons of them. They'd and be stacked up, one on the other, and they couldn't move. And they, they didn't need to be fed for months, so that they actually contributed a lot to whaling and other things because they were used as a foodstuff and a water supply that was just kind of per permanent. Because so you've got the water board. as well. And imagine if you smash the shell open, there's like a little toy in there, like a kinder. <laughs> <isn't there? laughs> like a little game, you've got to get the balls in the holes. Oh, so how, do, what, how do they exist in the wild well, anyway, if they're so delicious and slow-moving and <laughs> massive and useful? They didn't have any natural predators until man discovered them, basically. Right. So they were mm. evolutionarily yep. complacent. They, they were exactly like a lot of island species. They're a lot like that. Uh, and it's only man who crosses islands in the way we do who like does All those who, ridiculous who does it. flightless birds on New Zealand. Yeah. So essentially, I... they got lazy. Yeah. <laughs> they got lazy. What's the point the of flying? Now, some of them go, we'll need it one day. I bet we'll need it one day. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you're, you're too <laughs> anal, you are. <laughs> Just walk around, around, it's easier. Yeah. Anyway, despite being discovered in 1535, giant tortoises weren't properly catalogued by science until the early 19th century because they were so delicious that no samples ever made it back home.